Hello YouTube, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, overview on alternatives to using TNT because I'm not sure if you've ever used TNT as a trap or as protection or whatever but uh, here let me just give you a brief overview right so go into like a TNT trap like this and then everything blows up do you know how inconvenient that is? how messy that is? look at this you can't use that anymore try rebuilding it might be funny at the moment but here look I'm just going to show you some alternatives alternatives that work well, let's just go on survival here so you're walking down a regular oh you can't get out you can jump around as much as you want but you're always going to end up in the same problem I'm going to show you how to do this can't break out in time because stone doesn't break fast enough so, so let me just show you how to make this it's pretty simple and you can put it in almost anywhere and it conceals nice and easily alright so let's just first make start by making a hallway just a short hallway so what you're going to do is you're going to fill it up like this one side as large as you want preferably two and then a roof so then they can't even jump but you don't even have to have a roof okay so there we go then we're going to want to make another layer over here this isn't going to be a uh, a another hallway this is just to put the sticky pistons in Oops. I made a mistake. I'm sorry about that. This one has to be built up. Then we're going to be putting some sticky pistons all across the wall. It's recommended that you leave at least one or two spaces. I'm just going to go with two spaces because you don't even need that many. Two spaces from the end. So that you can hide it. But we don't need this anymore so we're going to break that and make another row right here this is going to be so we can connect them all to the button okay so let's put some redstone repeaters connected to that and then let's connect some redstone to these now redstone can only travel so far so let's put another repeater right there Then we're going to want to dig underneath it because we don't want them to see our grand plan, right? So, yeah, that's on the second. So we're going to dig down. And then we're going to dig up. You can put this anywhere you want, but let's just put it like in the middle. That's about the middle. Then we're going to want to make it three big so that they can't just run across it or jump over it. That way it's a bit more tricky. It's a bit trickier. It also helps if all your things blend. Being that there's only two different kinds of pressure plates, it's recommended that you make it rather stone or wood. Oh, and let's just cover this up right here and we're going to add a repeater right here just so that the power doesn't die out on us okay so these three we're going to put a pressure plate right here right here and right here cover that back up okay and if you want to Chances are you already have a wall over here, but if you want to, just to conceal it, just make something like so. Just make a wall on the sides and then make sure that the ground looks all the same. So looking at this, it doesn't look like much, but an average, an average um, hallway, right? Let's change our game mode back to survival and test this out. 
Okay, they didn't work. Let's check out. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Also very important is to make sure that you have the right directions of the redstone repeater. Mine were facing the opposite way. If they're faced with the arrow that way, that's good because then it'll send signal from these pressure plates over. Whereas if they're sent the other way, nothing will happen because it's not receiving energy. It's only giving if that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to try this one more time. Back on survival. And no amount of jumping. No amount of braking. No amount of turning, spinning. Nothing can save me now. So this has been a tutorial on how to make a wall trap with redstone. Um, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know what to do. Uh, Alright, have a good day.